Hi, this is Steve Clark. We're live from the Nook and Cranny restaurant again. This time we're preparing our famous Grand Marnier cheesecake. First we start with approximately two cups of graham crackers. We put them in the bottom of your spring pans. You mix it with approximately six ounces of sugar. It all depends how sweet you want it. Then you use about a quarter cup of clarified sugar to bind your graham cracker crust. Just mix it in nicely. Form it in your crust. Then it'll form real nice. Pat it down. That'll give you a nice soft graham crust. A little bit of sweetness. Won't be too bad for you. It helps bind it just a little with the butter and the sugar. So that it's nice and flat and even. Pat it down a little bit. You're going to cook them in a 375 degree oven for approximately 10 minutes. So you put them on a pan like that, you take them, stick them in your oven, they'll be ready in about 10 minutes, and that's how long it's going to take to make our cheesecake. We have our mixer, we start with two pounds of cream cheese, not too much, just a little bit. Use a whisk, put it on low to start it. If you wish, you can turn it on. Speed it up a little bit on two. Now that it's mixing a little bit, you can put it all the way to three. Get the stuff to really mix in there. We're gonna add some or fresh orange and fresh zest from one of each. Orange and what? Lemon zest, orange and lemon zest. We have two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch. We'll turn the mixer off to add this. We'll add one cup of sugar, granular sugar. We'll turn that back on low, let it mix a little bit. This is almost there. We're going to add 50 milliliters of honey. We're going to add 450 milliliters of buttermilk. Always trying to make sure everything is mixing properly. You can always stop your mixer, make sure it stops before you put your hands in it. You can undo the whisk and just loosen everything from the side of the bowl. Or you can use a spatula if you want. This works just as well as a spatula. Hook it back up, put it on. There you go. You can switch it to high if you want now. We're gonna add eight egg yolks. One at a time to let them bind. Let that mix a little bit. We're going to add two ounces of Grand Marnier. Two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And basically that's going to whisk. That's a half of your batter. We'll take it, take it off one more time, make sure it stops. Blend the stuff off the sides. Hook it back up. Let that mist whip for approximately two to three minutes. While that's, while that's mixing, we're gonna turn it on and make a, a meringue. This is the eight egg yolks that came, eight egg whites that came from the eight yolks. We're going to turn it into a meringue, and this is going to be folded into the cheesecake. Wait until it starts to turn white. When it starts to turn white, then you're going to take six ounces of sugar. You're going to add three ounces, and let it bind a little bit. Your egg whites will start to turn white. Once they start to turn white, you can take the other three ounces of sugar and fold, fold it in. This will take you approximately two to three minutes, and you'll have a nice meringue that you should be able to hold over your head. The more you move the mixer, the quicker it'll mix, instead of holding it in one spot. Just 
don't tell all your friends the secret that they're looking for any. Surprise them on a dinner with a beautiful cheesecake. Start to see weaves in your meringue, it's almost done. Take it, check the whip. Almost. It's all done now. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Take your meringue, put it there, come back to your mixture. You can turn it off. It's all done. All nice and smooth. The mixer, blend up your cream cheese and everything. And now we're going to turn around and fold our meringue into our cheesecake. I need a spatula for that. Basically we take our meringue, we put it in our eggs mixture, egg and cream cheese mixture, fold it all in nice and evenly. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Always remember to fold it. Don't try and mix it all in, it won't work. Eventually it will all fold in. It will be a nice smooth texture, sweet, decadent, delicious. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Nice and light. By adding the meringue separate with the egg mixture, it creates a more light cheesecake as opposed to a traditional heavy New York cheesecake, which is dense, or a no-bake cheesecake, which is also dense. This is a much lighter cheesecake, much fluffier and less firm. So now that our mixture is done, we're going to prepare our table here. I'm going to get the spring pans, bring them over. Your crust is all nice and brown. As you can see, it's not dark or anything. See that? Nice brown. Now we're going to take this and we're going to fold Pour our mixture in there, fill them up approximately two thirds, nice and fluffy. Oh my. Beautiful. Mix it around a little bit, make it nice and even. Once again, we'll take them, put them back in the oven. secret here is the aluminum foil around your spring pans. By doing the aluminum foil around your spring pans, it's going to stop them from cracking. So they'll be nice and flat when you cook them. So you put them in a pan like that. You're going to cook them for approximately an hour and a half at 375 degrees. And you're going to use a water bath so that they'll stay nice and moist. Enjoy them. It's going to be delicious. And if you really want to know what it's going to taste like afterwards, you can come to the Lucky Cranny where we saw, serve our homemade blueberry coulis, which we put on our cheesecake. Or sometimes you can even mix it up with a little bit of strawberries from Wyman's, which is a local producer. A little bit of whipping cream, maybe. A fresh mix for decoration. Enjoy it. This has been Steve Clark live from the Lucky Cranny restaurant.